Hello and welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric. I'm going to be doing another video on National Pastime 3 Baseball, or otherwise known as NP3. Um, this is kind of a game a little bit similar to APA, as you can see with the scorecards here. That they actually have some similar histories dating back into the 50s there. Um, but tonight we're going to have the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the San Francisco Giants. I haven't done one of these games for a little while, so I figured I'd do one tonight. <laughs> Got into doing a little bit of laundry, had a couple of people, friends visit, and um, the night kind of got long, took a little nap. So I woke up a little, just a little while ago and uh, have a little hot cocoa and decided I'd uh, do a game today. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, uh, let's get the Los Angeles Dodgers lineup. Batting first and playing second will be Chase Utley. Batting second and playing shortstop will be Kyle Seeger. Batting third and playing right field, Yasiel Puig. Batting fourth and, hit, and hitting cleanup, Adrian Gonzalez. Playing first base. Batting fifth, playing left field, Vance, um, Andy Van Scott Van Slyke. <laughs> uh, batting sixth, and playing center field, Jock Peterson. Batting seventh, and playing third base, uh, Enrique Hernandez. Batting eighth, and catching. Austin Barnes, and on the mound, in batting ninth, Alex Wood. Jake Peavy will pitching for the uh, San Francisco Giants. He's a C pitcher. This is be his first start on the year. He'll be facing Chase Utley. He's hitting 425, 29 on the year with one RBI. Here's the pitch. Oh, looks like we're automatically going to get a hit here. First stop. And it's a 23, which is a 6, which should be a double. Double the right center. So Chase Utley starts the game off for the Dodgers with a double to right center. Next up will be Corey Seager. He's hitting 308 with a homer and two RBIs. Grounds out. Fielder's choice, 4-3. Runner moves to third. So Chase Utley will be on third now with one out for Yasiel Puig. He's hitting 308 with a homer and three RBIs. And Puig flies out to center. The runner tags up and scores. So the Dodgers get on the board first. Here comes Adrian Gonzalez now. He's hitting 286 with no homers and two RBIs. The base is empty. And he gets them. So the Dodgers score first. After a half, Dodgers won. Giants coming up. So, for your hometown San Francisco Giants, it would be Denard Span. Playing center and playing center and batting leadoff, Joe Panic. Playing second base, will be batting second. The catcher Buster Posey will be batting third. The cleanup hitter will be Hunter Pence, playing right field. Brandon Belt will be batting fifth and playing first base. Matt Duffy, Matt M Duffy. Will be batting sixth and playing third base. Carl Crawford. Oh, that's not Carl Crawford. Brandon Crawford. Will be batting seventh and playing shortstop. I'm sorry, that's eighth. <laughs> no, seventh. That's right, seventh. I forgot that the pitcher sometimes does bat eighth. Uh, Jake Peavy will be batting eighth and pitching. 
And Angel Pecan will be playing left field and batting ninth. And they'll be going against the lefty Alex Wood. He's a C pitcher. All right, he spans steps into the box. He's hitting 375 with two homers already on this young season and three RBIs. Here's the pitch. And he walks. And he does not get the jump. So the, Dodge, the Giants also have their leadoff runner on base. Joe Panic will step to the box now. He's hitting 333 with a homer and three RBIs. And he pops out to short. So one down and run on first. Buster Posey steps into the box. He's hitting 182 on the season with a homer and four RBIs. And he grounds out 6-3. Runner moves up to second. So two outs. The Denard Span is in scoring position for Hunter Pence. Pence is 273 with a homer and two RBIs. So it seems like a lot of power for both teams so far. And Hunter Pence strikes out to retire the side. So after one, the Dodgers won, the Giants nothing. The Giants will send up Brandon Belt, Duffy, and Crawford. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Van Slyke, P Jock Peterson, and Hernandez. That's against Jake Peavy. So Van Slyke, I believe that this is his first plate appearance. He didn't play yet this year. Here's the pitch. And he gets a single. And he's thrown out trying to steal. So Buster Posey throws him out. So he gets a single, but he's cut down trying to steal. Next up will be Jock Peterson. He's hitting 167 with no homers and no RBIs. PV's. Uh, and he gets a single. All right, so the Giants have a runner on first with one out for Enrique Hernandez. He's, he's hitting, he's 0 for 3 so far. Well, three paid appearances anyway. I'm not sure if it's 0 for 3. Could be 0 for 2 or 0 for 1. Depending upon if there are any walks there. Because uh, NP3 goes by, he doesn't list that bats. They list plate appearances here. Alrighty. Okay. Oh, my cat just decided to come in and join me. Hey, Max. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> okay. And PB gets him for the second out of the inning. Next up will be Austin Barnes. He's hitting 250 with no homers and no RBIs. Here's the pitch. And he flies out to center to retire the side. So the Giants do not score in the second either. So after two, the Dodgers lead by one. Brandon Belt steps to the plate here. Alex Wood will go up against Belt, Duffy, and Crawford. And if anybody reaches, the pitcher Peavy will face him. Here's the pitch. And he loses him. And he can't get the jump. So we're going to limit. He's a slow runner. We don't want him to get thrown out. Trying to stretch a, to an extra base. Or trying to uh, on a hit. Or uh, trying to tag up and advance. Okay. And you can see he's restricted now. All right. Madam Duffy will steps to the plate now. He's hitting 182 with no homers and no RBIs. 
Run on first, nobody out. Here's the pitch. Looks like it's a fielder's choice, 4 6. And Duffy can't get the jump. So, on the field is choice. Velt is retired. So, runner on first now with one out. For Brandon Crawford. He's hitting 333 with a homer and an RBI. Looks like another field is choice here. Crawford cannot get the jump. So, two down and runner on first. The pitcher, Jake Peavy. This is his first at-bat of the season. Then it's another fielder's choice, 4-6. Alright, so Greavy's, Greavy's, <laughs> Peavy's pitching rating now goes down to a D. See, after the, at the third inning here, he gets downgraded right here, as you can see. All right, so the pitcher, Alex Wood, will fa be facing PV now. This is his first at-bat of the season also. And he strikes out. One up, one down. Top of the lineup, Chase Utley. He's one for one. And he grounds out 6-3. Two down. For Corey Seager. He's 0 for 1. And he singles. So he singles to right. So two down. Seager's a fast base runner. So we don't have to restrict him. Yasiel Puig steps to the plate. He walked his first time up. And he flies out the center to retire the side. So nothing doing for the Giants in the third. After three, the Dodgers lead one to nothing. Alrighty, the Dodgers will send Gonzalez, Van Slyke, and Peterson. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they won't send them. those who they'll send them next inning. This inning will be the Pagan, Span, and Panic for the uh, Giants. And he pops out to second, not ah, third. One up, one down for Dinad Span. He walked his first time up. And he flies out to right for the second out. Joe Panic up now. He's 0 for 1. And he flies out to right also. So after 3.5, Dodgers 1, Giants nothing. Adrian Gonzalez steps to the plate for the Giants, for the Dodgers. <laughs> I get this right. <laughs> He is 0 for 1. And he strikes out. A PB gets him. With one down, Scott Van Slyke steps to the plate. He's 1 for 1. Flies out to left for the second out. Jock Peterson now. He doubles. Doubles over the first base bag, down the line. Right field is up with it, throws it over to, throws it in the infield. And Peterson's easily coasts into second with a stand-up double. So the Dodgers are in business with two outs here in the fourth inning. Hoping to add to their one nothing lead. Enrique Hernandez steps to the plate now. He's 0 for 1. And he grounds out to second base 
to end the inning. So the Giants will have Posey, Pence, and Belt stepping up against Alex Wood. And it's a deep fly. Home run for Posey. Breaks a shutout up and also breaks up the no-hitter that he had through three innings. The brief no-hitter, but well, that'll wake him up. <laughs> Ties the game at one. Breaks the hit up. No-hitter breaks the shutout. You know, a little early to call a no-hitter, but still. I saw it there. I just wasn't saying anything. <laughs> Hoping to get me, you know, wait, still waiting for that first no hitter in MP3, huh? So it'll come sooner or later, but not today. Alrighty. Alright, so next up, so the score is tied 1 to 1 now. So Hunter Pence steps into the box, he's 0 for 1. And he gets a single. No, oh, walk, sorry. Runner on first with nobody out. I mean, uh, yeah, nobody out. Duffy steps up to the plate. Grounds out. Third to first. Runner moves up to second. So running scoring position now with one out for the Giants. I already have one run in this inning. And he pops out to short to end the inning. Nope, to, for the second out. Grounds out to first base. He takes it himself to retire the side. But the Giants get a run on the Posey home run to tie the score at one. So through four, all tied up at one. Dodgers will send Barnes, Wood, and Utley. And if anybody gets on, Seager. Pitch to Barnes. He flies out to, to right. The first out. Alex Wood's up now. He's 0 for 1. And PV gets him for the second out. Chase Utley now. He's 1 for 2 with a single. And he gets another single here. Two out single. Cannot get the jump. So he'll be at first with a Two down for Corey Seager. He's one for two on the day also. And he flies out the center to end the inning. So we head to the bottom of the fifth. I'll not score knotted up at one. Oh, so it looks like Alex Wood doesn't downgrade here. That's good. Alrighty, so the pitcher Jake Peavy steps to the plate now. He's 0 for 1. And he strikes out. So Wood has, that's Wood's second strikeout on the day. He's walked 3. Angel Pagan comes up now. He's 0 for 1. And he flies out to center for the second out of the inning. Next up will be Denard Span. He's 0 for 1. And he walks. And get the jump. So two down and a runner on first for Joe Panic. He is 0 for 2. And it's a wild pitch, and Span moves into scoring position. All right. So, RBI opportunity for Joe Panic now. And he pops out, gets under it, and pops out the shortstop. 
All right. So after five and a half, still tied at one. Yes, El Pui will get up. He's over for one in the day. Ooh. Looks like he has himself a double. Lead off double now for the Dodgers. So the Dodgers are in business with a lead off double by Pui. Adrian Gonzalez, yeah, Gonzalez comes up now. He's 0 for 2. Trying to get Puig home here for the go-ahead run. And he fouls out the third. So he does not get the job done. Scott Van Slyke steps to the plate now. 1 for 2. Grounds out 4 to 3. Runner moves up the third. So two down and runner on third for Jack Peterson. He's perfect on the day, two for two. And PV gets him for the third out. So after six, still tied at one. Great pitcher's duel today. Especially by Alex Wood, who's only allowed one hit, but that hit was a homer. By Buster Posey, the batter who's up now. The wind up in the pitch. And he gets him the fly out to right. Hunter Pence up now. 0 for 1. Okay, well, I don't know what happened there. Oh. <laughs> like the game froze there. And it's a foul ball. It'll be in. Looks in for the side. Here's another pitch. And he strikes him out. Two down now. And Belt pops up to third for the final out of the inning. So we head to the top of the seventh. Dodgers one, Giants one. So PB will face Hernandez, Barnes, and Wood. Looks like there's some stirring in the Dodger pen there. Looks like, let's see here. I'm sorry, the uh, Giants pen. Looks like Chris, Chris, yeah. Chris Heston and Javier Lopez start loosening up. And he walks him. And he steals second on the pitch. So a runner immediately in scoring position there. So it looks like Bruce Bochy's coming up. Looks like he's signaled to make the change. Looks like he's going for the right-hander. Chris Heston. And he'll come in to pitch. So PV pitched a fine day. Crowd gives him a ni nice hand clap as he leaves. Tips his cap. And Chris Hes Heston takes, takes the mound. This is Chris Heston's first appearance on the year. He's a D pitcher. Looks like he gets kind of wild sometimes, so I'll have to keep an eye on him. Alrighty, so he'll be going up against Austin Barnes. He's 0 for 2 on the day. Runner in scoring position with nobody out. Go ahead, run. Flies out to left. And re Enrique uh, Hernandez has to hold. So one down for Alex Wood. Let's see here. Uh, I think we're going to go to the bench here. The runner, the go ahead, run there in scoring position with only one out. 
Let's see who the giant who are the giants gonna have pinch hit now. Hmm, the first two guys in the real game actually are on the team anymore. Actually, all three pinch hitters that were in the actual game are not available to play in this game. So let's see. What do we got here? Looks like we have a righty here. So we're going to have... All right, looks like Howie Kendrick is going to grab a bat and come up and pinch it. Dodgers have Yumi Garcia and Luis Coleman warming up in the bullpen. All right. Here's the pitch to Kendrick. And he walks him. So runners on first and second now with one out. Does set up the double play now though. For Chase Utley. He's two for three on the day. Hmm. I think we're going to bring in Harvey Lopez here. Get the lefty ready for Utley. So... Heston's one and done. All right, so the veteran Javier Lopez will come in now. The pitch to Otley. He's one inning pitched on the season with one strikeout. No runs allowed, no walks. And no hits allowed so far. All right, here's the windup in the pitch. And he walks, walks him too. Definitely not something you want to do when you come out of the pen, but both relief pitchers for the Giants have done it. All right, oh boy. So base is loaded now and one out. So. Giants are going to play the infield in. Corey Seager steps into the batter's box. Javier Lopez gets the sign. Here's the pitch. And it's a single. Two runs are going to score. So the Giants bullpen coughs, coughs, up, coughs it up and... Two runs now here in the seventh to give the Dodgers a three to one lead. Oh boy. <laughs> Giants bullpen is stirring again. Looks like Sergio Romo is get picked up and start throwing there. Just make sure he's available here. Yeah, he is good. Okay. Alrighty. Puig steps into the box. Javier gets the sign. Shakes it off. Nods his head. Here it comes. And he flies out. Runner tags and scores. So, the fourth Dodger run. So, the Dodgers are up by three now. Adrian Gonzalez steps up to the batter's box. He's, he's 0 for 3 on the day. And he flies out the center of the end of the inning. But the Dodgers score 3. And after 7.5, 6.5, Dodgers 4, Giants 1. Dodgers have some, Giants have some catching up to do here. 
Matt Duffy steps into the box. He's 0 for 2 on the day. Giants will bring in, I mean, the Dodgers will bring in looks like Garcia, I think. Yep. Yimi Garcia will be the relief pitcher. He's a C pitcher. He's pitched two innings so far this year. Three strikeouts, one walk. No runs allowed. Batters are hitting 0, zero, zero against them. Okay. All right. Here's the pitch. So the Giants have some work to do here, here in the bottom of the seventh. And he strikes him out. Crawford steps into the box. Garcia with the windup and the pitch. And he, it's a single. Single to center field. Alrighty, so the Giants will go to the bench with the pitcher's position coming up. Hmm, let's see. Giants going to send up Jared Parker. This will be his first at bat of the season. Left hander steps into the box. Here's the pitch. And he grounds out the third over to first. Two down. Runner moves over to second. Bagan steps into the box. A switch hitter. He'll be batting left against the right-hander. And he hits one a long way. Is it? Does it have enough to carry out here? Wow, look at that. 66. Would have been reduced to a double of 11 to 65. He happens to hit that outer limit there. So 99% chance of, uh, pretty, pretty close to 99% chance of it being reduced. But it doesn't. It just scrapes the hits the top of the wall and bounces over for a home two run homer for Angel Bagan. <laughs> How about that? So the Giants get two two run two runs back on a two run homer by Angel Bagan. Wow. So after only two runs were scored in the first six innings, we've had five runs here in the seventh. All right, he's here. Looks like the giant, the Dodgers are going to make a pitching change here. Giants had a couple people throw. I mean, the Dodgers had a couple people throwing in the uh, in the bullpen here. Let's see. You're going to bring in J.P. Howell, the left-hander. He'll be coming in to pitch against the lefty, Denard Span, who's 0 for 1 in the day. Here's the pitch. And he flies out to third for the final... Final out. Well, the damage is done. Giants score two. Now we head to the eighth. Dodgers' lead is cut to one. All right. So Giants will bring in another pitcher. Looks like Romo is going to be coming in. Not Tony Romo. <laughs> Although we probably could pitch now. It is not really doing much for the Cowboys but that's another story anyway <laughs> alrighty so Sergio Romo comes in now he's got one one appearance with one inning pitched 
A strikeout and hasn't allowed a hit yet. Let's see what he does against Van Slyke. Who's one for three on the day. And it's, he gives up a single. And, oh, uh, no, he can't get the jump. Lucky they were playing it safe. Else he would have been thrown out. All right, so the leadoff runner is on for the Dodgers. Looking to add some insurance runs here. Jock Peterson steps into the box. He's two for three in the day, having a good day. The race is average up to 267 for the year. Here's the pitch. And it's another single. Runner first moves to second, so Van Slyke moves up to second. So first and second now with nobody out. A couple quick base runners here for the Dodgers. Enrique Hernandez comes up now. And it's a double, 5-4-3 double play. Van Slyke moves over to third. A twin killing. Giants definitely needed that. So we have a runner on third now with two out for Barnes. He's 0 for 3 on the day. And he gets him. So the Giants threaten. I mean the Dodgers threaten but do not score. Giants coming up now. Still only three hits on the day. But they made the most of it. Three hits and three runs. Okay, Joe Panic will step into the step to the plate now against JP Howell. I think we're gonna have him just continue. Yeah. Here's the pitch. And he pops out the third for the first out of the inning. Buster Posey way up now. Down one run. He's one for three with a solo home run. Back in the fourth. And he also pops out the third now for the second out. Hmm. Looks like Bochi. I mean, uh. Let's see. Looks like the giant the Dodgers are gonna make a pitching change here. How will be coming out. And Pedro Baez will be coming into pitch. Baez has got one appearance on the air. He's pitched one inning and hasn't allowed a base runner yet. Okay, Hunter Pence steps into the box. Pedro Baez is an A pitcher. And Pence flies out to left to end the inning. So the top of the ninth, the Dodgers will send the pitcher spot, Utley and Seeger. Hmm. Uh, I think we're going to get a pinch hitter now. So I can't. So Jansen starts warming up in the bullpen now. Getting ready to come in in the bottom of the ninth. Oops. Alrighty, so let's see who the Dodgers gonna send in the pinch hit. Hmm. It's like Carl Crawford's grabbing a bat, he's gonna come in. All right, so Carl Crawford comes into the to bat here. He's hitting 273 and 13 plate appearances with no homers and an RBI. 
385 on base percentage. Romo looks in for the sign, winds up. Here's the pitch. And he pops out to short for the first out. Chase Atley will come up now. He's two for three. Oh, possible double increase to a home run here. No, but it won't be because it's outside the range there. So, if, so if this cleared right here, then you'd have to clear this right here. So, so the Dodgers have a one-out double by Chase Utley. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Corey Seager comes up now. He's two for four. Oh, Lord. Looks like another double, possibly a home run. It's hit really deep. And nope, looks like that's going to be another double. But that'll score a run. And Seager was in the scoring position. So the Dodgers add on to the lead, 5-3 now. Puig comes up. Looks like it's a fielder's choice. Second to short. Second to third. Runners out at third. Batter safe at first. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to take this off here. We can't get the jump. So the lead runner is cut down. And Gonzalez strikes out to end inning. But the Dodgers add one to their lead. And head to the bottom of the ninth. Dodgers five, Giants two, three. Down by two. All righty, so... Looks like the... Uh, Giants will be going to the pen for their closer here. Kenley Jansen will be coming in. He's got three innings pitched on the season. Got, I think that's the hold. No, that's not a hold. I don't know what that is. H A. He's got six strikeouts. Two walks. Oh, hits allowed. One hit allowed. No ERA. Batter's only hitting 100 against him. I think he's got like three saves in the season. I'm not sure, but I believe that's how many he has. Let's check here. See if it, I can see it somewhere. No, you can't tell yet. Anyway. Alrighty. He's an A and C pitcher here. Triple X and strikeouts. Very good there. Okay, so the Giants will send the belt, Duffy and Crawford. Anybody who gets on will be the pitcher's position. Down by two. Jansen winds up. Here's the pitch. And he flies out the center. One down. Let's see, Matt M. Duffy. Do we want a pinch hitter here? Possibly. Let's see. Uh. See if we got any, le any good lefties here. This will be Blanco. Yeah, we're going to bring in Blanco. He actually played in the real game here, so. 
We'll bring him as a pinch hitter. So Blanco will come in to, to hit now. He's 0 for, 0 for 4 and 4 plate appearances. Okay. All right, one down, and Blanco is the batter. Oh, looks like he got a hold of one here. It's going to go all the way to the wall, and he gets a, gets a triple here. So a one-out triple now. All right, Brandon Crawford will come up now. He's one for three. And he strikes him out. Two down now. So the Giants are down to the last batter here. Tying run at the plate. Pinch hitter here. The pitcher. Hmm. Looks like see, let's see if we can get somebody with some pop here. It's my cat again, trying to give me advice here what pitcher to bring in. Uh, Gillespie? I think we might bring in Gillespie. Hmm. Yeah, he's our best bet here. So Connor Gillespie grabs a bat. He'll be coming in to hit now. Two down. Runner on third. He represents the tying run here. Jansen looks in for the sign. The wind up and the pitch. And he walks him. All right. So first and third now. Angel Bogan comes up to the plate now. He's one for three. Hit up. Home run, his two-run homer, I believe, in the bottom of the seventh there to bring the Giants within one. Let's see if he can do it again. Takes Steps into the left-hander batter's box. Here's the pitch. And he gets him to fly out to right to end the game. So Jansen gets him, despite being a little shaky this inning. So, Dodgers defeat the Giants 5-3. to three. Let's look at the box score here. Alex Wood gets the win. He's 1-0. Pitched six innings. Allowed only one hit, one run, one earned run. And that was the home run by... Uh, who is the home run there? Oh, Buster Posey. It looks like Jansen will get the save. And let's see here. I think there might be a hold in here, but anyway, uh, Jake Peavy gets the lost. He pitched six innings, giving up seven hits, two runs, two earned runs, a walk, and six Ks. Alex Wood was kind of wild there, too, though. He did let up four walks and struck out three. Okay. For the Dodgers, the hitting stars. Corey Seager was three for five with three runs batted in. Yasiel Puig was one for three with two RBIs. And Jock Peterson was three for four with a double. For the Giants... Not much going on there. Only four hits on the day. Looks like Buster Posey with the solo home run was the only... Uh, oh, and no, Buster Posey and... Uh, yeah, looks like the other runs were... Let's see here. I don't see any other RBIs here. <laughs> Oh, they were sack flies, that's why. They should still be RBIs, but... Oh, there we go. <laughs> that's right. Angel Pagan here. 
he had a homer with two RBIs, so he's actually the hitting star of the of the uh, Giants. But anyway, the Giants followed the Dodgers five to three. Thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the game. If you liked it, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We do all kinds of sports replays, everything from inside. Sports games like Inside Pitch, Inside the Crease Hockey, Inside Blitz Football, Inside the Paint Basketball, to Stratomatic Baseball, to soon we'll be doing board games, Payoff Pitch um, Cards and Dice, some APA Cards and Dice. Well, APA is Cards and Dice, so. Um, as well as some other soon Digital Diamond Baseball. Um, soon to be replay, soon to have replay baseball, and um, what's the other one? Oh, uh, diamond mine baseball. Plan on picking those up soon in the next upcoming month or so. Um, as well as some other video games, Afterlight Chronicles of the Resistance, and um, others there. And a couple of shoutouts there. Our Red Sox fan, check out his channel. He does a lot of great sports replays, um, including action PC football, um, some great boxing videos, out of the park baseball 17, does a lot of different types of replays with them. Right now he's doing a Boston Red Sox Cincinnati Reds replay of the 75 World Series. Check him out. And also Ron Juckett. He's doing a couple of Red Sox sports replays using Action PC Baseball. And does great commentary. And check out his uh, sister station there, Retro Sports Network. That's where he's doing most of his re replays now. Gives great commentary and uh, is uh, great to listen to. So that's it from High Ground Gaming. This is Eric signing off. Have a great night and God bless.